Oh, I've got a moist blades. I'm going to be using a new type of belt from Ground Flat Stock today. So I've just had it delivered. I ordered a, a coarse belt to help with grinding. And further on down the grinding sort of sequence, I, I went for a 180 finishing belt. So I could go after a 60 and after a 120. Initial looks... I'm going, that looks pretty coarse for a 180. But it does indeed say... 180 inside it so we're going to give it a go grind a merlin galahad uh so it'll be 36 to get it ground and shaped and then i'll go to the 16 or 120 and i'll try this new 180 belt finishing to see how the scratches look uh supposedly it lasts a long time and it's aluminium oxide so let's see how this goes so a pre-hardened with a 59 hrc merlin blank now i've knocked the 90s off uh, so don't remove too much straight off the bat. I've uh, got a 10 degrees precise is the aim using the jig on my 2x72. Uh, let's make a start, put the bevels in, uh, and then work through the grits up until I try this new Deerfoss 180. Six done. Nice, nice. And uh, change the belt. I'm going to go to a 60. So, 36. 60. And 120. Now is the 120 finish. Let's get the belt on this deer fall. Deer fall. Apparently, it's 180. It's really strange. There's a 36 Bora on the 180 Deerfoss. Okay, let's play the game. <laughs> Says 180. <laughs> right. 
Oh, oh. Strange game we're playing here. Get that one. I'll go normal rotation first. <laughs> when you go on it, it feels like a 36. But it's finishing it. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, The only problem is, it crowns a little, that's my grinder. Once you've got the stiffest belt, the, the belt still crowns slightly on the platen. So you end up um, messing up the flatness of the bevel if you're not careful, unless you press really hard. So let's go and have a go at the, uh, the other side. Oh, definitely. Get close up on this. So that's one twenty. It's the one eighty. Definitely strange, it feels so coarse. But yeah, it's doing it. Looks like a 180, a 180 to me. So what I'll do now is I'll go to the next finishing belt. I'll use a 280 cork, but backwards. Right. Hopefully a fussy, fussy deer thing. Two eighty cork, but I go the wrong way. Definitely need eye protection. Like that. Like that. Slow, wrong way.
when you're trapping back the front. So now I'm going to drop it on a 280 grip. on a 280 cork finish now so the, the steps that it went up 36 60 120 180 and then a 280 cork seems to have done exactly what it needed for the the gradients of, of steps as we went um, it is unusual in the feel because it feels quite coarse but it is giving the the next step up feel grain if that makes sense on the um on the steel with the scratches so yeah it feels to me like it's going to last a long time you know when a belt um degrades after first use this doesn't even look like it's been looked at at all yet so that's great um, so these are available from ground flat stop link below um, it was just a, an opportunity for me to get every time I do an order I raise the gain ever so slightly so I got like a, a 400 cork belt and then the next order I got a 600 to push that and then I got a 280 to step in between the, the 120 and the 280 this is now the step in between the 120 and the 280 so this now is like the whole system of my um, beveling and sides, as it were, flats on the, on the belts. So, yeah, very good. Looks pretty good. Well, yeah, uh, I see the company's called Deerfoss. Excellent service again. Um, I ordered it mid afternoon yesterday. I think it was like within three minutes, it was packed. Um, picked up by Deputy and it was in the door um, an hour and a half ago. I've cracked on and done this for him. Yeah, looks pretty pretty good. I, I dare say this is going to last ages because uh, obviously the finishing, the, like the court belts and all that, I'm only using it instead of using my hands. I'm using the machine to do the work. Um, I'm a big believer in using the carbide platen because it's flat. Um, so, you know, hand finishing on on some areas, yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I do as much as I can on the machine with the really, really flat platen. Um, this sat really well. 
hardly any crowning. My machine's not great for that. Um, so what happens occasionally is you put the blade on, but the center of the belt is just crowned out ever so slightly. So you've got to push it in. So you, you're not like going gently on the belt. Yeah, it seems spot on for me, what I wanted. And I know it's going to last a long time. It's got Wessex blades out. All the best, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And uh, so if you fancy giving these a shot, um, it's, it's worth for me. It's got Wessex blades out. Cheers. It's going to be 436. That's a ceramic 60. I think it's a Bora 120. Deer Frost 180. And a Cork Belt 280. Then I'll go 400, 800. Thank you.